guys, let's talk about the Pro Angler compass situation and my decision. First off, I'm going to keep the Pro Angler. Uh, after demoing the compass and being out on her compass and taking it out, it is a great boat. If I hadn't already bought the Pro Angler, if I could probably get by with the compass. I would probably be very happy with the compass. That's not the situation. I started out on a Pro Angler and it's kind of spoiled me. And I'm taking a lot of you guys' advice. Pretty much everybody who commented was like, don't get rid of it. So I am going to keep it. I will be using the compass here and there. Uh, I am thinking about getting a second lightweight, just paddle kayak, just for rivers and stuff. Haven't decided on which one. I, I just have no idea really what I want out of that. All I know is I want to be able to stand up on it and maybe in ascend. It's nice and cheap. Uh, it's not the lightest kayak, but it does seem pretty stable. The higher end of uh, the paddle kayaks would be a bona fide. Those things look awesome. Saw them at ICAST this past year and uh, fell in love with them, but I, I just don't know if I really want to spend that much money on something I'm not going to use that often. So it'll most likely be a cheap Ascend kayak from Bass Pro, something like that. So I'm going to talk about the other advice I took from you guys. And you guys said to try to just lighten my kayak up, lighten the Pro Angler up because maybe that's where a lot of my unhappiness with the kayak is coming from because i was happy with it for a while and then the more i seem to add the less happy i'm getting i think you guys are right i think i just i need to start cutting some weight somewhere and uh try and get try and get the pro angler lighter one way to do that really fast and really easy it's a little more expensive is to get rid of the yak power battery box that i had that had three of those lead acid batteries in it and swap it out with the Nakwa fish finder battery, which is 10 amp hour. So I did buy one of those and I wired it up and hooked it up and now it's uh, in the center console of the Pro Angler and I'll show you guys that in a minute. And uh, man, it, it's, I think the Yak Power battery box with three batteries was around 15 to 17 pounds. Uh, that's a lot of weight to just cut because the Nakwa battery is less than one pound. It's like 0.6 or 0.8 or something, somewhere in there. It's a lot of weight to cut at once and I'm really hoping that lightens it up. It does give me half, around half the battery power. So I might end up getting a second one just to keep on the boat charged in case I need to swap them out. And that's the reason I went with it in the center console, which I'll, I'll show you guys now. All right, so here's my center console. I wired it up just in there. And let's open this up. As you can see here, I'm just running it right through this little gap. It's hooked up to the front. It's hooked up up here where you guys saw me install the Yak Power switch system. And the wire is just running through here. I just put a little uh, Yak Power battery adapter on it that comes with a lot of the kits. It's got a fuse built in, everything. Wired that straight up to Nakwa's plug and then ran it up the hole to the center console. And then you got this little at least I do with the bucket. Uh, I got these little cutouts right here. And I can place the Nakwa battery, which is right here. Unplug it. And I can just plop that, plug it in. Or, you know, if I want to save some space in the bucket, I can take this out, plug it in, set it down here, just on the floor of the hull, and still drop my bucket in. And that'll give me all the bucket space, and it's still accessible and easily to swap out if I did get another one. So that's the plan. This is the, this is the Nakwa 10 amp hour battery. Give you guys a closer look at that out here. There's Velcros. So I just got this piece of Velcro here. You can strap it around the, uh, the sail mast in the front if you want to leave it there in the front. Because I'm thinking about switching mine around and maybe getting a second one, I want it to be easy access where I didn't have to take the front hatch bucket out and lean all the way up to the front of the boat. So I wired it up to be easily accessible through the center hatch. It's got a nice waterproof, waterproof seal on it that screws down. Um, so far I'm pretty happy with it 10 amp hour they say it discharges slower and holds more charge than a uh, lead acid with the lithium so hopefully that's the case and hopefully this lasts a little bit longer I think my yak power battery box which is over here and it's just a beast 
I might, I mean, I'm probably still gonna use this camping just cause it charge phones at night and uh, just various other things. Maybe charge some cameras, stuff like that while I'm camping, on camping fishing trips. So this will still make the trip, it just won't be on the kayak itself. I mean, if you just look at the difference in size, this is 15 to 17 pounds, this is less than one pound. This, I ha uh, this has around, let me see the exact, I think it's around 23 amp hours, as you guys can see in there. I think uh, one seven and two or eight, so it's around 23 amp hours. Um, and this one has 10 amp hours, so if I get a second one, then we're looking at 20 amp hours <clears throat> and about 15 to 16 pounds lighter. But yeah, so to shed 15 pounds just like that is, uh, it's pretty nice. It should help out, and it gives me more storage room in the back of the kayak. I don't have my battery box on the back of the kayak anymore, so it helps out there. Uh, it doesn't block my the, the white lights that I put on this winter. Um, I don't know how, how long it'll last. I know I didn't have to worry about anything with the 23 amp hours, but maybe if I get a second one and it's around 20 amp hours, it'll give me about the same. Nowhere near the weight. But yeah, I know, I, I know a lot of guys are switching to the Nakwa batteries, and that might be why is the weight and just having lithium is nice. I don't know, I'll have to test and see, but um, it is a little pricey. Again, I got it from Mariner Sales, so 30 miles out disco, uh, discount code. Um, so I got 10% off. So I think I ended up paying around, with shipping, like around 115, 120, something like that. I ended up saving like $10 off of whatever the normal price is. I think it's 130. So maybe I'll do that again um, and get a second one just to keep in the front hatch, easily accessible in the front hatch and in the, in the bucket itself. So that I can just reach up, pull it out, swap them, throw the dead one in there and then drop the other one in the center hatch or in the hole and uh, see how long it lasts. But yeah, I'll do a full review on the Nakwa battery and everything. I, this is just a quick update, mainly to let you guys know I am keeping the Pro Angler and I'm taking you guys' advice, kind of dropping the weight, trying to keep it as light as possible while still being functional and, you know, taking everything that I need to take with me. Um, and a full review on the compass is coming. I'm working on that. I'm getting married this month, so videos might be slacking this month just because uh, so busy from all the wedding planning and doing everything to do with that. But we are taking a honeymoon to Pensacola, Florida. We're looking to do maybe some deep sea fishing or some inshore fishing with the charter. Uh, definitely probably some pier fishing or surf fishing. So you might see a video or two videos from our honeymoon where me and her take a charter out and actually go fishing uh, down saltwater fishing, which will be new for me because I haven't done inshore or saltwater yet. I'm planning on doing a lot of inshore this year, or at least some, driving down to Virginia Beach area and Outer Banks area and doing some inshore fishing, but... Um, I mostly do freshwater, so the deep sea and the inshore would be nice. Anyways, I'm starting to ramble on here. I'm going to cut this out, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. She's safe for now. She's staying in the garage, staying with me. See you guys.